Oh, so with my able assistant, we're going to look at these. These are a set of three, so you're going to see two right now, of the Amazon Basics luggage. So this is the largest, and they come packed Russian doll style inside each other. So they fit, each fits inside the neck. So this is the largest, this is the medium, the small one's in there. We're just going to look at this. So we have a handle. It's a push button handle and it's held on with hex screws so you could replace it. These are a very light aluminium and this is a very stiff plastic. It doesn't feel bad, it feels okay, okay? This is all plastic, this is all plastic. Now, I had thought this would be more rigid, that it would give more strength to the actual product and it doesn't. That's, that's a negative, I thought it would live you know, be stiffer, like maybe a flight case. Um, but it is, it does give, so this is empty right now, as you can tell, it gives. So impacts are not going to bash that around and, and break it. So the two zips, we have the upper zip, which allows extension of the height of the whole bag. And then the other zip allows opening. The handle itself is, this is the best bit. I really like this handle. So this is underneath, it's, can you see? It's rubberized underneath with like, a spring-loaded pull. This is plastic, but with a rubberized inside. And it's really good, gives you a nice handle. The same for this handle here. We have a combination TSA 001 or 007 maybe lock. So TSA, um, obviously they can be picked. If you don't believe me, check out Devin Ollum's uh, stuff on the picking these, but picking this lock is five seconds work. It is not hard. Um, also the reset button on the setting the dial uh, it gives you a clue as to which one it is when I set these to a different number than this 111 at the moment I set it to a different number and I could hold that button and move these and yeah you could feel it you could feel where the actual number was um, and that was very easy back down to the casters they are four point casters they're each corner they do work okay I mean it's okay but if I imagine, uh, so if I spin this this way so I'll get the handle, so get this handle. If I now pull that, it, you see it fell, so if I have that that way, look, so it's not right, and then lean and pull, it just sort of flop in. It's okay, it's okay, but I'm 5 foot 11, and that's, you know, it's okay, it's not, it's okay, it's not perfect, but it's, it's okay. The next one. Is identical so slightly smaller but a longer handle so the handle works really well I'm really quite liking them the thing I don't like is the color <laughs> these are the orange uh, okay uh, maybe I should say that again it's not orange it's orange so just so you know but they're all the same construction here's the feet so here's the expansion zip of this one so you literally just get an extra inch and a half or two inches of space but if we open this one up sorry for the poor angles but I have no camera stand and go over it's a nice zip um, there's the one inside so here's the one inside that's how they all come inside each other so here's the smallest okay they've all got inside a double breasted pocket on a well it's sort of on a flap. On that one it's more fixed, this one it's on a flap. Uh, but this can be compartmentalised. So you've got something behind that. It's not waterproof. This isn't waterproof. So you would, if you've got a spill the other side, it would come straight through. But you've got a double sided basically. It is branded, it does say Amazon Basics throughout the fabric. Um, so you've got a wet, this is waterproof, a wet pouch, a dry separating pouch, there's a few silicons in there, there's another pouch here for stuff, which is quite nice, um, not brilliant to do one handed, I'll admit, okay, and then strap wise you have a double X strap, um, the strap is the other orientation in the big one, in the big one they cross centred here, these cross from the smallest edge out, um, it's just a double button clasp, they clasp into each other, um, but it's all fine, uh, you can feel the handrail here, so if I extend the handrail, this is tubular, so it's always there, 
you know, it's not going to catch, but it is always taking, you know, the bottom area out. So I'd say your folded neat clothes that side, things like towel, robe, this side, things that aren't going to take on any um, of the creases. Um, so that's that. They're all very, very similar in construction. I think they're very nice. Let's take a closer look at the the casters. So, I don't know, it's a metal fixing, a metal um, outer there on a plastic, oh no, it's plastic, it is plasticized, it's all plastic. Sorry, it looked and felt quite metallic because it's cold, but they are all plastic, slightly rubberized on the outside tread. Um, there is a metal spindle as we can see. Uh, but this is all plastic, so whether it takes a huge amount of weight, I can't say. Um, but I, see, I'm quite happy so far with them. So this is the smallest, it's identical. The smallest, however, double the handle. The handle is double the length. So I think it's quite nice that they all end up with the handles coming out to roughly the same height. I think it's a really nice touch. It's a really nice uh, little thing. Um, this is potentially carry-on size depending on your airline so my rule of thumb has always been the hand span so from little finger which I've lined up with the outside edge to thumb this is actually maybe an inch too big it may fail so I don't trust it but these are both obviously check-in luggage and I think they're great I think they're really nice uh, they've got the flex so they're not going to destroy anything I wouldn't put anything massively important in it I would take you know, tech equipment, laptop, tablet, that kind of stuff in my handheld ca uh, luggage. Whether this counts as handheld, I don't know. Um, but they all wheel really well. I like, I like the rubber feet on all of them. That they've all got that. Uh, the handle is good. Build quality overall is good. It's you know good. I, I'd like to know the price point on these, but I don't know the price because. Um, you see, it's not been made clear. They're Amazon Basics and they don't always publish the price. So if I now stand that inside that one, put that one back on top and get zipping up. Oh, I've left the thing out. There we go. You know, it's it's zipping into place. No problemo. One-handed that as well. Um, yeah, I think these are, are, are on to a winner. Uh, they are... Pretty decent quality. I say the colour doesn't do them justice. The handrails, the holds, are all pretty good. Whether it survives being thrown, um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know whether at check-in I take the wheels off. Um, if we actually turn this one over, let's see if we can take a wheel off. No, the wheels still. So they are problematic they're great for taking it through the airport or through the train you know station or wherever you're going in them but for flight i have a funny feeling they're going to get smashed right on off right on off i really do hey ho but nice seal nice finish um there is you see this this is not me i don't know what that is it's fresh out of the box so that came with that on it um there was actually on this one uh, this is like a patterned extruded plastic. It's been taken that way and there was like a fine film of, of dusty plastic particles all on it. But other than that, it came fine. They came all inside each other with the main one in a big box and it was well padded. The feet were well protected. Now the fact they had to protect the feet at all tells me they're probably going to snap off in flight. I'm going to give this a happy... Quite a happy four out of five. I'd like to give it four and a half, but I can't. I can't give half marks. But my lovely assistant agrees. Don't you? Yes? He does. Uh, we're going to go for four stars out of possible five. I'd say it's a four and a half. I don't know the price, though. Speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.